Did you know that there is a well-established relationship between your sense of smell, emotions, and memory? Odorants can strongly evoke emotions related to previous experiences associated with that odor. Odor-associated memories are long-lasting and salient. Any loss of this sensation impairs the ability to feel motivated and engage in even playable activities. It is correlated with lower perception of quality of life, changes in mood, and even depression. Hello friends, I'm Dr. Ishil on Science Do, and today we are going to talk about anosmia or nose blindness or lack of smell. And I'm also going to fact check what kind of remedies work for it especially in COVID-19 patients. Social chemical cues play a role in determining our social behavior. It has been shown that adherents are reported to influence even mate selection and cause females to synchronize their menstrual cycle, indicating a biological importance for these olfactory cues or the sensation of smell. There is a lining at the back of your nose that is specialized to detect these odorant molecules or the smell molecules. And we are able to distinguish over 1000 odorants through a large multi-gene family of receptors that detect specific chemical structures within those molecules. We have a handful of tests that assess this function of smell. When a person develops this olfactory or smell dysfunction, he can have variable symptoms. The most prevalent problem is anosmia, which is complete absence of smell function. And it is very commonly seen among COVID-19 patients. Viral diseases are one of the most common causes of smell dysfunction along with head trauma, other sinonasal diseases, medications, or even exposure to certain chemicals. In the case of COVID-19, initially we thought that the virus might be infecting and destroying the olfactory neurons, which are cells that transmit the signal from the aroma molecule in your nose to the area in the brain where these signals are interpreted as smell. It has been recently shown that the virus in fact actually involves cystic tacular cells which support these olfactory neurons. These support cells are likely to be the ones that are damaged by the virus and the immune response would cause swelling of the area but leave the olfactory neurons intact. When the immune system has dealt with the virus, the swelling should subside and the aroma molecules have a clear route to their undamaged receptors and the sense of smell should return to normal. So why does smell not return in some cases? This is more theoretical, but when the inflammation is so severe that other nearby cells start to be damaged, or destroyed by this splash damage that accounts for the second stage where the olfactory or the sensory neurons are actually damaged. Recovery of smell is much slower because these olfactory or sensory neurons need time to regenerate from the supply of stem cells within the lining of the nose. Olfaction or the sense of smell has been called the Cinderella of senses because of its neglect by the scientific community. But it has come to the forefront in this pandemic. Silver lining is that we will learn a lot about how viruses are involved in smell loss from this. But what hope is there for people with the loss of smell now? The good news is that, that these olfactory cells can regenerate. They are regrowing in almost all of us all the time. We can harness that regeneration and guide it with physiotherapy for the nose. 
Smell training has shown to work in COVID-19 patients in regaining their sense of smell. It is not a cure but a way of amplifying your recovery. Every time you do it, you are stimulating the olfactory nerves that help you smell. And this is what encourages them to heal. In clinical trials, the patients who used smell training fared better in areas of identification and discrimination of smells than patients who did no training at all. Even after stopping the smell training, patients who had used the method more or less maintained their improvement. So guys, if you are recovering from COVID-19, there is no reason to worry that your loss of smell may be permanent. What did you think of this video? Show me in the comments below and make sure to like this video and subscribe my channel so I can keep on bringing more health related tips and scientific content. See ya!